All right, uh, hopefully you can all see my screen. Uh, yeah, all right, uh, let, let me do just that. All right. So yeah, th thanks Rafael uh, for the introduction. Thanks to all of you who have joined. Uh, I've had the privilege of working on uh, IODA for several years now, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to share how it can help uh, in the detection and documentation of internet shutdowns. So what is IOTA? Uh, it's a system with a public dashboard that monitors the internet around the world 24 by seven to measure internet outages. Now, internet outages are events where users experience complete disconnection from the internet. And I'd like to emphasize here that uh, I'm not talking about partial shutdowns where users are perhaps unable to access specific websites such as Twitter or Wikipedia, but are able to access other websites. So you'd use a tool like Uni to look at such instances of website or social media blocking. IOTA is instead focused upon full internet connectivity shutdowns, such as uh, the nightly shutdowns that occurred in Myanmar earlier this year, or other uh, shutdowns that occurred in Iran in November 2019, where a significant portion of the users uh, in the country had no internet connectivity at all. So my goal in this talk is to show how uh, you can use IOTA to detect episodes of internet connectivity shutdowns. Uh, and since IOTA has a dashboard that is open to the public, anybody can use it uh, to dig it to internet outages. So I'll do a demo uh, of IOTA by going over one case study of internet connectivity shutdown episodes. Uh, and after the demo, uh, perhaps we can also dig into other events during the Q&A. So uh, during the demo, I'll be covering internet outages uh, affecting Myanmar uh, during the political events that occurred earlier this year uh, in Feb and March. Uh, Myanmar experienced a series of internet outages in the wake of the military coup. And this was a pretty well-documented event that received and has continued to receive international news coverage. But yeah, so let's begin by going to IOTA. I'm already over here. You, you'd, you'd come here by going to iota.cato.org uh, and you see that, uh, you know, IOTA is, so there's, there's CADA is the, uh, the research center affiliated with UC San Diego where IOTA is actively under development. CADA builds infrastructure to perform large scale internet measurements and makes curated data available to other researchers, uh, political scientists, policy makers, and to the general public. Now, uh, the idea behind uh, IOTA was conceived back in 2011 uh, when, research, when researchers at CADA, uh, they'd study these large shutdown events in Egypt and Libya uh, during the Arab Spring. Back in the day, it took us several months to obtain all the data and crunch through them and complete the investigation. So in the time since, we've been able to build a system that is capable of monitoring the internet 24 by seven and detects internet outages due to shutdowns and due to other causes such as power outages. And it does this monitoring for countries, regions and networks from around the world. And it does this in near real time. And what's more, it's data is available publicly and anybody can access it. So let's begin by visiting the dashboard. Uh, so by default, IOTA's dashboard uh, shows internet outages during the last 24 hours. It's also possible to choose a different time range uh, by clicking the different buttons over here by selecting a different time range. Now you'll notice in this dashboard that there is a world map. This world map shows potential outages by highlighting the affected uh, countries in shades from blue to red. The more red the shade, the more severe the outage according to the algorithm that IOTA uses under the hood. Now in the table to the right, you can also see the alert feed. So this is a list of potential outages uh, ordered by severity according to the algorithm under the hood. Now, in addition to the country level outages, IOTA also finds outages affecting specific regions in the world. So sometimes an outage may not affect an entire country, but may affect a specific region in the country. Uh, for example, the shutdown event that affected the Indian state of Jammu and Kashmir in 2019. So regional outages will be displayed over here. And in addition, IOTA also detects outages at the network level or at the AS or autonomous system granularity. 
So here we display networks that have ongoing outages in the last 24 hours. Now, uh, we would recall that we were interested in digging into Myanmar. So if, you're, if you'd like to search for a specific uh, country, you can search for that country over here. So I type in Myanmar uh, and that gives me a link and I can click on that. And that takes me to the IOTA signals for Myanmar by default in the last 24 hours. Now, uh, the coup itself happened in early February. So let's take a look at uh, signals for uh, that time. So let me choose uh, January 27th from 00, 0 until say Feb 10th uh, to 00. zero. And once I click apply, it's gonna get us the signals. So the coup itself occurred on February 1st, and there were also reports of internet outages in the weekend after the coup, after this occurred. And that's why we are choosing this particular time range. Now, uh, we observed that there have, there have been drops in these different time series, which I'm gonna talk about uh, a little bit more. And if you hover over these, it tells you the time at which these occur. Now, the three different uh, data sources that IOTA uses, let me describe each of them in turn. Uh, the active probing data source uh, represents ping response data from networks all around the world. We continuously ping millions of networks uh, on the internet from machines under our control. And intuitively, networks that are responding to our pings, uh, they have working internet connectivity. But if several networks in a country suddenly stop responding to our pings, we may have found an outage. Now, the BGP data source represents global routing information that internet routers exchange with each other, uh, with other routers. Packets, internet packets from one part reach other parts by going through several routers along the way. And these routers are continuously communicating with each other on what the best routes are to various destinations using an internet protocol called BGP. So by monitoring BGP communication, IOTA assists us when there is a significant drop uh, in the number of destinations that can be reached within a country, such as uh, over here and here in Myanmar, and detects a potential outage using the BGP signal. Now, the last and most uh, esoteric of our data sources is the darknet traffic. And the first thing I'll note here is that the darknet has nothing to do with the dark web. And in fact, internally, we even uh, call this uh, internet background radiation. This darknet traffic uh, represents liveness traffic that is often actually from user machines. Uh, the back, this background noise traffic is sourced by millions of machines worldwide. Uh, and is often a result of these machines being infected uh, by malware uh, or misconfigured in some other way. So thanks to infrastructure at KEDA, we're able to see a portion of this traffic. And this traffic is able to give us a liveness signal that is collected from user machines. And again, IOTA's intuition is that when there is a significant drop uh, in the time series for this liveness signal, it could be due to a potential outage. Now, these three signals are complementary. Depending upon the nature of, of the outage, it may be visible in all three, or it may be only visible in a couple. So we see that the internet was relatively stable uh, before February 1st, before the day of the coup. But on February 1st, uh, there is a drop in the BGP and active probing data sources. And later on February, uh, on on February 1st, we see that connectivity sort of comes back uh, to its previous levels. But then uh, on that weekend, so on February 6th, which is a Saturday, we see that there is a significant reduction in all three of the data sources, which continues for more than 24 hours uh, until uh, the connection, connectivity is restored on Sunday. So as a rule of thumb, if we observe drops occurring at the same time in two or more data sources, that's a strong indication that there was indeed an outage. And also shortly we'll see why there was uh, an outage detected only in, in, in two of the signals for this first outage and why uh, it is detected in all three data sources for this one. But now let's dig into uh, the regional outages. Uh, it's also possible to look to zone in uh, and look at which regions in Myanmar uh, experienced an outage. So IOTA currently detects outages, uh, regional outages at the highest administrative subdivision within a country like states in the US or provinces in Canada. 
These regional outages need to be taken with a pinch of salt in countries like Myanmar. Uh, identifying regional outages requires IP address geolocation accuracy. And while this accuracy is typically high for countries in North America and Europe, it may not be as high in some parts of Asia and Africa. But what we could, from what we can see here, uh, the map to the left, it shows the regions in Myanmar, and we can see that uh, the automated anomaly detection algorithm that IOTA uses uh, actually generated alerts for most of the regions in the country. Now, we can also take a look at individual networks uh, within Myanmar. And uh, okay, as since this is going to require, all right, so, well, I was going to say that it's going to take some time, but looks like the demo got with, uh, with me today. So uh, the table to the right displays the ASS or the networks that are most affected according to the automated anomaly detection algorithm that IOTA uses. But this algorithm is not perfect. So sometimes we may wish to visually inspect the raw signals. So toggling this button over here uh, will actually show us the raw signals uh, for each of these bases, each of these ASS. We can see the BGP, active probing, and darknet data source signals for each of them. Now, uh, why does it matter to look at this AS level data? Because we've observed in the past that several government mandated shutdown events, uh, that governments, uh, they, they don't always, they don't implement a central uh, kill switch sort of a, a, a mechanism, but instead governments communicate their orders to uh, various ISPs in the country and leave it to the ISPs to implement the shutdown. So by looking at AS level data, it's possible to understand at fine granularity how these shutdown events occur, including timing patterns and potentially the methods that we use for implementing the shutdown. For example, uh, it's possible to see whether all the ASs observed outages at the same time, uh, like what happened over here on the, uh, during the second outage, or whether they observed uh, data sources, uh, observed drops in all three data sources, again, like what happened in the second outage, as opposed to the first outage where we see that only a few of the ASs were actually affected. So uh, this kind of, so basically it, from the IOTA signals, it looks like on the day of the coup, the outage that occurred on February 1st on the day of the coup, uh, it did not affect all of the ASs, it affected some of them. Whereas the, the shutdown that, affected, that, that occurred a few days later uh, during the weekend actually affected a lot more of the ASs. And this could be uh, indicative of the evolution of, of, of power. It's possible that on February 1st, uh, the day that the coup occurred, uh, things were more chaotic and the, the, the junta was not able to carry out the shutdown uh, as effectively as they would have wanted. But within a week, maybe their control over the internet uh, became tighter and therefore they were able to enforce it in a more uniform way. Now, while IOTA enables some powerful analysis, there are some pitfalls to keep in mind while interpreting the IOTA data. The first one is that IOTA detects internet outages, which includes power outages, like say uh, the ones that occurred in Venezuela uh, in March in 2019. So not all internet outages that you see in IOTA are necessarily due to government mandated shutdowns. Also, sometimes IOTA may detect false positives. In fact, right over here, we can see that the active probing signal uh, has, ha has uh, seen a big, big drop over here. Now, uh, sometimes this occurs because the magnitude of the signals from countries is small, so there tend to be more fluctuations. And at other times, it happens due to uh, infrastructure failures on our end. But that's one of the reasons why uh, we generally say that, you know, uh, we, as a rule of thumb, we try to detect outages uh, that appear in at least two of the data sources. Uh, one more limitation to keep in mind is that IOTA has limited visibility into cellular networks. Sometimes we see outages uh, that occur in cell networks, but sometimes we do not. And of course, we are working continuously on addressing these pitfalls so that the system can automatically take care of them. But in the meantime, it's good to be aware of them so that we can interpret IOTA signals appropriately. So uh, to wrap up, I described IOTA, which focuses upon uncovering one type of internet shutdowns 
uh, in specifically the internet connectivity shutdowns, where uh, which are instances where users have no internet connectivity at all. IOTA and tools like Uni, which are going to hear about shortly, are complementary and can together paint a more complete picture of internet shutdowns. So increasingly, we are observing instances where governments first block some specific websites or social media before then later resorting to full connectivity shutdowns. For example, uh, in Uganda in January uh, of this year, access to social media was blocked first. And this kind of blocking is visible uh, in Uni, but not in IOTA. However, the social media block was followed by a full internet connectivity shutdown. And that event is visible in IOTA, but not in Uni. But after the internet shutdown uh, ended, social media continued to be blocked for several days. And this, visible, this event is again visible in Uni, but not in IOTA. Thus, by using these multiple open data sources together, it's possible to obtain a more holistic picture of internet shutdown events. All right, uh, I hope this was helpful and we'd love feedback. Uh, we are always looking for ways to improve IOTA. Uh, and I'm also happy to take into other case studies in the Q&A. Do let us know. <laughs>